Welcome back. This time I'm going to be doing the Grakova, the full auto pistol in this game. Seems like I need 10 mangler eliminations and 5 crit kills rapidly 15 times. Starting with no kills on it, no XP, never touched it. And I do want to try Dark Flare out this time. So I'm going to try and level it. I guess I'll do Rampage Inducer for a little bit. Yeah, I have no idea how the other video uh, has performed yet because it's not out yet. I'm recording this pretty much as I finished editing and everything for the last video. Oh, hey, these guys spawn this time. Oh, that feels so nice. Also, I think I'm supposed to melee this or something. I think it's supposed to have drops. This already feels better than the last pistol. Like it's not even close. Zombie in here? Yeah. I love those little random spawns. Well, at least I get a break from bad weapons. I'm pretty sure the next pistol I have to work on, what are they called? GS-45s? Those are the Mustang and Sally equivalent of this game, and they are explosive. They are incredible. Uh, the problem is, is when you're doing camos, you need to get headshots. And uh, you can't get a headshot with an explosive weapon. So you have to get the 2,000 headshots with that gun unpack a punched so that should be absolutely terrible i think that might be the next gun i do it's either that or the uh, tonto 20 is it called tonto i don't know the other the other pistol and from what i've seen the other pistols seem to be more difficult than these two <laughs> these are the easier ones to do which does not bode well because the nine millimeter was not very good do i just want to stay here for a little longer yeah this thing this thing is the mustang and sally of this game apparently okay they're getting a little fast now I think after this round, when it swaps to round 5, I'll turn off the Rampage Inducer. Just gives you a good start on the uh, slow rounds. Alright, I think it's time to turn the Rampage Inducer off. Oh, your bug round, perfect timing. Oh, that's awful, they're just climbing on the walls. This pistol feels pretty good. I might purposely die with this thing, once I get a little further in. Just so I can put attachments on it. Because I already know, with no attachments, this thing isn't going to get me very far. <laughs> Like, I'm, j I'm gonna die. Eh, maybe. It is notably better than the 9mm. I don't know if it has any form of special pack-a-punch. The 9mm didn't. I think it's about time I start heading to to pack-a-punch. Ooh, insta-kill. Nice. Try and get headshots with it. Oh, I really don't like this thing's iron sights. They're dreadful. Okay, this thing is um, not doing any damage. Like at all. <laughs> like at all at all. Hmm. Maybe all the pistols are just garbage. Well, except the pack a bunch to GS45s, but uh, that's a very special case. And the road to 2,000 kills on that thing, or 2,000 headshots is horrific. Alright, let's see if this is like packed. Okay, I mean, like, it, that's a lot better. But yeah, it doesn't seem like it has any special pack bonus. 100 crits, nice. Already, that's fast. Get some spare salvage from these in the meantime. I want to see what this uh, field upgrade does, actually. <laughs> what was the button for it? X? I mean, that's, like, really cool, though. I like that. Almost on round 10. Can almost pick up my free... Wait, wait there's just... That's a missing texture. Wait a minute. Treyarch. Hmm, yeah, this thing really doesn't seem to do that much damage. I mean, I still have it gray rarity. I'm sure as soon as round 10 comes around, it'll all be better, but gray rarity pack a punched is not very good on this thing. Again, it's, it's still better than the 9mm that I was using before, but not that much. I really do want to start getting some augments, though. But a lot of the things I want augments on are much further down the line. Like, I want some deadshot augments. Okay, I think I can need this now. Perfect. <laughs> so funny. I love it so much. It's one of my favorite Easter eggs. Oh, they show up on the minimap. I've been, I, I was looking at the minimap and seeing. Oh, is there a zombie over there? Groundskeeper. Oh, he's the guy. He's the guy that drops the key. Right, right, right. I keep looking at the minimap and seeing red dots and thinking, oh, there's there's a spider over there, but it's just a freaking zombie falling from the sky. Here's our ether tool. Should be doing notably more damage now. Oh, that's much better. Two-shot headshot. On a normal zombie. Yeah. Barely. Ooh, that's nice. I do wonder, is it the zombies blowing up that car? Or am I just actually hitting it that much? Oh, wait. There's a mangler. Is I think it's probably the mangler. This thing feels like it's gonna eat through ammo. At least my fingers happier with this thing than it was with the 9mm. The 9mm was like, absolutely destroying my hand. Okay, I can go to pack 2 already. Huge. I'll buy perks after. Oh, 
Hello. Oh, that's why Quick Revive didn't go away. This game has like self revive kits that's, that are separate. That is interesting. So what does Quick Revive do? Just cause you to heal quicker? Is that it? I mean, I guess that's good, but not like, not like crazy. Not quite a one shot headshot. Was it 2,500 scrap I need? Yeah. Okay, I actually almost died there. I actually did die there, that's crazy. Well, at least I have that self revive kit inside, right? Everything worked out. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay, so I'm gonna upgrade this guy. I was doing 600 to the head before. I'm doing 900 now. Oh my god, he got rolled. 200 kills already. I'm going much faster than I was on the other gun. It's just because this one's better, I'm pretty sure. I should buy Jug, though. Jug and Quick Revive, I think, are, like, essentials. Yeah, I'm gonna go do that. I'm gonna go do that. I don't want to, like, throw that hard. I'm okay with a minor amount of throwing. A little bit of uh, dabbling into throwing. <laughs> but I don't want to just lose already. I already have a down, like... That damage fall off is pretty severe on this thing. It already dropped like 700 damage from that distance. Okay, I should be much tankier now. And I'm not going to really worry about other perks. I should get speed cola. I want Shadow Rift. Also, uh, <laughs> Brain Rot is a crazy name. Wait, let me look at the names for everything, actually. Napalm Burst, Deadwire, Carfreeze, Brain Rot, Shadow Rift. Okay. I think I was calling the Fire One Blast Furnace before. Oops. As soon as I can get like de Deadshot Augments, I'm going to. And I need to get better at shooting the deadshot target. I just need like an assault rifle with a really big scope. That's what I'll probably do. I'll find a gun along the way that can uh, hit it effectively. Because bolt action is garbage for it. Like, let's be real. I should probably be doing Sam Trials just because they spawn more zombies, right? So I can have like bonus zombies in the map. How many bugs are there? Freaking a lot of them is the answer. Oh, a gum. The gum slot machine. The gum gambler. Exit strategy times two. Nice. I want to... Camo. Grim, what's that one for? 600, oh, okay. Making huge progress. Grab my max armor there. Grab my legendary pistol and head on down to the bowling alley. 2,400? Yeah, okay. I'm doing a lot of damage now. There's a dog, a Borkin, little guy. I did hear about this, though. You can, <laughs> you can play pool and get just like 100 points. It's basically nothing, but it's funny. All right, now for the big camo grinding to begin. Okay, out of curiosity, uh, from the last episode, I mentioned that the Manglers sound like Nikolai. I looked into it, and I, I think they are actually voiced by Nikolai's voice actor. So I wasn't just being offensive saying it sounds like him because the accent. I was correct. And I should go get... Uh, Go get Deadshot. Why not? Speaking of which, uh, it felt like Pokemon Go had died. Because I hadn't really heard anything about it since it came out. But a friend got me back into it and apparently it's been receiving continuous updates the entire time. It's got like a lot of content now. Kind of fun. How big of a buff is Deadshot? Am I... Am I dumb or is that like not that big of a buff? Well, it's a buff nonetheless. I think augments is when deadshot really comes into a league of its own. There's an augment where the first bullet you shoot is double headshot damage if it's on a full health, full health enemy. So that can just like really help with camo grind. And there's other ones where it's like you just do more headshot damage and stuff like that. I just need augments, but I can't have augments yet because I had the brilliant idea of starting the camo grind at level one. I have to start with like basic unleveled weapons with no attachments and everything it's so painful i guess it adds to the challenge though and i can get to experience each weapon through its worst and through its best through the camo grind though there will be weapons like this one i'm assuming i won't get to max level before i'm done with gold and i think what i'll do in those cases is obviously since i'm going for nebula i'm gonna have to actually like get opal get afterlife and get nebula so i'm probably gonna go my weapon classes when i get to that point like once i have all the pistols done you know just go and get all the pistols opal and that's one there or maybe i think i'll just get them all opal at once of a weapon category and that'll be a video of its own and then once i move on to afterlife then i'll go through each weapon class with afterlife and then each one with nebula unless i just do one big video for nebula just show getting every gun nebula but that's like 33 weapons actually by that time even more because uh we're getting tlc weapons like in two days i think 
I think we're only getting two in two days though. The other ones are delayed for later in the season, but still like the grind is going to expand. That's another reason why I'm not uh, like in the thumbnail. I decided not to put like out of 33 or whatever, because by the time I get there, there's going to be more than 33 weapons. So I'm just going to put the number of the weapon I'm working on. Who knows what that final, num final number will end up being by the end of the game's life cycle or the end of whenever I'm done playing. We will see. 800, getting there. I did see, however, something very exciting about the Season 1. They're adding two new melee weapons. One's a cleaver, which, you know, is kind of cool. Just a bigger knife, a different knife. But the other one is a power drill, which is so amazing. That That is so freaking funny. I love that. Just even the concept of that alone is so funny to me. I cannot wait to get the power drill. Oh yeah, another thing is, uh, I, never, I didn't think about this, but th there's no perk limit. Right? Like, you just go to Wonderfizz and you can buy all the perks. I guess that makes Perkaholic a little less cool. Obviously, starting the game with every perk in the game is still crazy, but it's not that that important anymore. Because in Black Ops 3, it was just, you literally could not get more than four perks a lot of the time. And Perkaholic just allowed you to bypass that just outright. Now in this, it's, it's obviously amazing. Like, you're still saving thousands of, or thousands of points and starting with every perk. Like, that's crazy. Don't get me wrong. It's just it's a little less crazy than it once was. What does a mag do to this guy? It kills him. That's good. Try and get everything I can as a headshot. Almost at the halfway mark. I wonder if I can get all 2,000 in this game. Like, I'm going to make it a goal that in this one game I finish the gun, but I don't think it's going to happen. Cookies? One dollar? When does this take place? Not in modern day, that's for sure. Yeah, price is crazy on like everything nowadays. Oh well. Oh god. Get out of here. Go home. Giant alien squid hellhounds are not permitted. God, please calm down. You're not you when you're hungry. Have a Snickers, please. Oh no. Idiot. Halfway. Well. Kinda. Probably got a little more after that to do. Oh yeah, today something interesting happened. So, for context, I live in California, and we've been trying to sell our house for... Yeah, no, I know, it's like the worst state, right? California pretty sucks, but we've been trying to sell our house for a bit now. And today, we weren't told that the realtor was bringing people to see the house. They just weren't told outright. So here I am, like, finishing up the thumbnail for the previous video, minding my own business, and I get informed that the realtor has a client to look at the house in the driveway. Uh, there was no heads up. So I was like scrambling in a couple minutes to uh, put the dogs away because we have three giant like 100 something pound husky malamutes. They have a room they stay in and that room we have to clean every time someone comes to view the house. So it was a mess. And the realtor was to say, hey, by the way, like the day before or something, hey, by the way, we're going to have people coming to see your house. At this time is roughly when we'll be there. And then they're always like 40 minutes late past the time they say, but regardless, so you have to be ready by that time. It's not like the house you live in is annoying to say the least you know what this might be a good point to uh to just die and come back in with some attachments because we're getting to the point now where my gun is not really doing damage i'm gonna just try and get as far as i can it's not gonna be much longer i could feel that yeah yeah there we go probably could have gone a little more if i just kept sprinting and and dodging but i think that would have been a waste of time overall Okay, 1,204, but that wasn't the amount on my gun. I guess I can't see it right now. Now I can gunsmith this thing and check my camos. Yeah, a little over halfway, 1,152. 115, the old origin of zombies. I think now it's the dark ether that's causing zombies or something now. Just the new version of 115. I think the dark ether is cooler. Because 115 is just like, oh, we found this rock and it corrupts people and has these mystical properties. And now it's like, there's this alternate upside down dimension that is causing corruptions in our world and there's like these squid beasts i'm a fan of the squid beasts personally they're kind of cool yeah i had recorded the last episode at like 3 a.m is when i finished so this one i just decided i had to uh, do in the middle of the day it's currently like 6:40. i've only been going for like an hour so this this is going much faster than the other one the other gun took a whole three hours to get gold that is crazy Oh, this thing's much better now with some attachments. I do feel like the movement and the gameplay in this game, at least so far in my opinion, is the best that there has ever been in a zombies game. 
like the gameplay in this is just satisfying. I don't mind the uh, RPG style health bars and damage numbers. It just gives you something to tell you how much better your current gun is than your previous or something. Like it gives you a line of comparison. I don't know, it makes it interesting. Though I'm curious what happens when a gun does infinite damage. Does it show like a 9999 or something? Or does it just scale directly with the zombies? So like, let's say a zombie has 400 HP during one wave, it'll do 400 damage. Or if they have like 10,000, it'll do 10,000. I don't know. I really do like the attention to detail on this map though. I do know there was a ton of complaints about this map pre-release, but it just seems really good. I don't know. I really don't know what the complaints were about. Like the main one I saw is it didn't feel like zombies because of the HUD and the skybox, but like zombie apocalypses don't just happen at, at night, right? Like they can happen during the day. Huh, it's an atmosphere thing. I can understand it to an extent. Like I will say this atmospherically compared to this is totally different like this feels crazy in the church so I, I mean i can understand it but i think the map's pretty freaking good training zombies is so different now like before you just do this get as close as you can to them and just do that but now you kind of have to jump over cars and stuff a lot it's really interesting it just adds another layer of complexity i think it's a much much better gameplay than past games I should do Sam Trials, I really should. It is just more kills. Yeah, I've been playing Satisfactory and I keep trying to do like slide jumps like you do to get around in Satisfactory. Just, like zip around, but can't do that in this game. You can jump into a slide, but you can't slide into a jump. May as well pick up Quick Revive while I'm here. If it doesn't revive you anymore, I wonder why they don't, why they still call it Quick Revive. I mean, I guess in multiplayer it probably still does the same thing. Yeah, that was so worth it though. Got a lot of headshots from that. Did it do it? First time I've messed it up. Followed by the second time I've messed it up. Followed by the third time I've messed it up. Yikes. Hmm. <laughs> what do I do now? Editor, cut that out. Wait a minute. I'm the editor. I need a grenade. Where can I get one of those? I think I can buy him at this equipment thing over here. 250 whole scrap for my mistake. I guess if you want to be realistic, it was actually 750 because I missed it three times. Line it up. Like there. There we go. Yikes. I really need that weapon upgrade. I'm doing nothing to the mangler. Please, where'd it go? There it is. Almost up to 1,500 kills. Drellock laser? That just reminded me of Stalker. Hey, oh, speaking of which, Stalker comes out in 8 days. Stalker 2. The day before my birthday. Kind of cool. Kind of excited. I played through the entire Stalker trilogy and uh, read the book Roadside Picnic. I was going to make a, gonna make a video on Stalker. Like a video essay type thing. About the inspiration and the effect it's had on gaming in general. Like, there, there are so many games you wouldn't realize just would not exist without Stalker. Crazy. Some obvious examples are like DayZ, Escape from Tarkov, Into the Radius and VR is heavily Stalker inspired. Stallcraft is literally just Stalker but made into an MMO with um, like voxel type. It looks like Roblox, but you know. Some large games. The impact of Roadside Picnic, the story it's based off, is even bigger. It's a bit of a crazy book. It talks about how aliens had stopped by our planet and just had a picnic and left their junk but it just so happens the random junk that they leave is uh completely anomalous and out of this world so like just a spider web chilling in the open you just walk through it and it does nothing in fact there's there was never a spider web there's no spider web there's nothing nothing was ever there but Later in the day, you'll just die of a heart attack randomly because you interacted with that spider web, stuff like that. Or like, um, the ground will look slightly off. Something will be slightly wrong. Non-noticeable to someone who isn't incredibly experienced. And the moment you step there, like a black hole will open or like a gravity vortex. Twist you like you're wringing out a wet rag and then, you know, it's not great. Cool book though. And very cool game series. Docker 2 seems to be one of the first games to properly use Unreal 5, from what I've seen. So it's probably going to be beautiful. I don't necessarily trust that it's going to be a good game. I'll be real. It went through development hell to an extent. I don't know that it will be able to recreate what the original trilogy had. Hopefully, 
it surpasses it. But it's really hard to make a game like Stalker nowadays because people on average need a decent bit of, oh, hey, Abomination, a decent bit of uh, handholding to learn how to play a game. And the Stalker games are very brutal. Like it's very much, there are things that you'll only learn by the end of the game in Stalker. So it's either going to have like a really lengthy tutorial in the new game or multiple tutorials as you go through the game to teach you how to play it. Or, unfortunately, they're probably just going to dumb down a ton of the systems. It's probably going to be very different from the original Chalker, uh, the original Stalker trilogy. Which, I mean, I'm, I'm down for change. It's fine. It's good. Uh, the, the old Stalker games are old. There are parts of them that don't need to be a thing anymore. I just hope they don't dumb it down too much. And I hope they add some new things. Regardless, I, I have it and I'm going to play it. I am excited for it. I don't know if I'll make videos on it. I'm thinking maybe. I don't know if, uh, I still don't know how the first one of these videos performed, but if anyone's watching these, let me know in the comments if you want to see, uh, some Stalker 2 videos. I'm not sure what kind of style of video I'd do there. I, it won't be like this. It won't be like podcast type talking about things. Um, that, that's, that's relegated for this series, I feel. But I could do some more edited versions of Stalker gameplay. Yeah, 1,500. Let's go. Get in there. Ooh, get kills with standing still. I can actually do this one. Are you kidding me? I could have got Jug for free there. I just bought it, dude. I literally just bought Jug. Interesting just seeing a perk of coal on the ground. Oh, it's just Jug. What does it say? Made with real eggs. Oh, I didn't even know Jug had eggs in it. I guess it's Jug or Nog, right? Like Eggnog? Really? Is it, that, has it always been like that? Yeah, no, it's always been Juggernog. Juggernog probably tastes amazing. I'm not staying on this roof. Nope, that try would make me lose the game. <laughs> I mean, maybe I can get some of it done. I might get some money or something. Easy mode. Likely Croptacular tier reward achieved. This Sam AI is great. I love, like, passive-aggressive AI characters in games. Reminds me of, like, Neuro. If you don't want to know what, uh, Neuro is, some, uh, I think he's British. Some British guy named Vidal made an AI that can, uh, like, hold conversations with people and, like, play some games and stuff. And it is just, like... Very concerning, some of the stuff she says. Very much screams, uh, AI is going to take over someday. She talks about killing your creator all the time. Which, right now is funny, but you know, one day may not be funny. Oh, that's not good. Well, hey, I can go get that jug, maybe. Go check it out. Maybe the jug's still there. Who knows? Probably not. Let's be real. It's not. So sad. I tried the slide jump again from Satisfactory, man. Come on. Why do I have to get used to that game? Also, side note, Satisfactory is in freaking incredible. I love that game. It's so good. I didn't play it in like three years, but I've been playing with a friend recently, and it's such a good game. The movement, and it's so good, and the, the optimization of the factories is just crack. I say optimization, but uh, I wouldn't call <laughs> my factory optimal. It's um, a spaghetti mess. Like a complete mess. Spider webs of electrical cables. It goes crazy. But you know what? I, I for one thrive in the chaos. Brings a smile to my face. Okay, it's time. Gotta go get all my stuff. All my perks. Like going back to Pokemon Go for a second. I got... I have like a shiny Gengar as my buddy. And I don't know if anyone knows when Zorua shows up. The little like dog guy. A dog fox cat thing. It mimics your current buddy on the map so i just like saw a shiny gengar and i was like oh my god there, there's a i'm about to have a second shiny gengar and, was, and then uh there's another rare status effect like xxl or xxs like if it's really big or really small it was an xxl as well i was like whoa that's that's like way rarer than my current shiny that's awesome yeah it turns out it was azura but was randomly a hundo <laughs> it just means that it had like perfect stats so uh not too disappointed <laughs> that's a lot rarer than what i thought it was I just want the scrap. Actually, wait, I have no point for scrap anymore. It's not like I'm trying to go to high rounds or anything. I just going for headshots. Speaking of which, I'm very close. No, I just got it. Okay, it's a good time to check. So now I just need rapid headshot kills and mangler kills. Rapid headshot kills should be done fast. Like, by next round level fast. Mangler kills are going to take a minute, though. Just in case it's consecutive, we'll just aim a little higher. 
Oh, okay. Kills rapidly, so it wasn't consecutive, and it's done. Now I just need mangler kills. Why does it feel like there's a hard drop off at round 30 where I suddenly do no damage? Like at round 28, I was still like, kind of shredding them. But now I just feel like I'm, I'm tickling them. This is so ineffective. Way better than the 9mm yet again, but like, very ineffective. That 9mm is garbage. And I've heard the last two pistols I have are the hardest ones. I'm so not looking forward to either of them. If I die now only requiring manglers, I'm gonna be pissed. Yeah, this guy just like, actually doesn't go in there. I don't, or he does, but it's just infrequent. I don't, I don't know what's going on with it. Cause he's gone in there on me a couple times. I hate how he just like, spills out tons of blood and like <laughs> you can watch his skeletal structure construct when he teleports it's just awful it looks sick but it's awful and see he just isn't coming in here like, he's just chilling outside he must hate bowling let's go now i just need kills okay 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 we're getting close we're getting close i just need to kill these guys in rapid succession i think it's like 10 kills shouldn't be too hard just keep blasting them, it'll just happen. Oh, I just unlocked the GS45. It's perfect timing, because I'm just about to finish this thing. It's actually, it actually couldn't be more perfect. Actually not possible to get 10 kills with this thing in a row at this point. Like, I, sh I should restart, but I, I'm, I don't want to. I'm just going to rely on insta-kills. Like, it'll happen, right? Surely, eventually. I'm sticking through until I'm dying. And this is where I die. Never mind. I might still die, but, you know, didn't die at that moment. I honestly, at this point, yeah, dying is a relief. <laughs> oh, a mangler death. Oh, they look horrific. I wonder how close I got. I'm gonna check out how close I got. I mean, I'm gonna finish this by, like, round six. Or maybe, like, seven. Yeah, at least customize my gun a bit. Dude, I was one off. Are you serious? You actually can't make that up. That's crazy. I shouldn't have bought speed cola. I should have just saved for a pack. It was worth a try. That is that in? maybe that's insta kill. <clears throat> Anyways, did that not do it? It did. Let's go. I got really concerned for a minute that that didn't do it. Like I actually got scared. Eat me. Where are you, player unknown? Eat me again. Oh come on, my gun was right there. I so could have reached that. Got a ways to go on its upgrades, but hey. Got Mystic Gold. Just such a cool camo. Like, they did a good job with Mystic Gold. It's a golden fingerprint with black. Not even black, actually. It's just a gold at a different layer, isn't it? Yeah, because reflection. It's so sick, though. It's one of my favorite camos they've ever had in one of these games. Load in, check it out real quick. Look at that thing. Alpha team, this is oh, it's beautiful. Are you a it's so beautiful. We'll be resuming with the GS45 next time, which should be very painful. Wait, wait a minute. It gives you a cat camo? That one looks more like Mimikyu than a cat, but it gives you a cat camo? So next time, I'm gonna need to get 2,000 headshots with an unpack-a-punched pistol. Well, that was the Grakova, and if you enjoyed, feel free to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.